Is that even good? I don't know. Well, from what we've seen so far, no. <laughs> but then everybody's fucking complaining about it. So then apparently it is good. <laughs> we maybe just it's had a bad good example. in bronze and silver. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Dude, we'll see. Man. We'll see. We will see. No, but see, I think Annie's a really good pick in this meta because she was a really good support pick anyways, right? Yeah, she was always and a good support pick. And now she gets gold from that new item, and she just builds a little AP. Yeah, Ooh. and she actually does damage. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So they have a Nocturne and a Thresh. That's obviously Nocturne jungle Thresh supports. Or Ooh, instant. Okay, I see. That's why I was calling the Aatrox ban. If they don't ban him, he's gonna pick him. Damn, and they got Orianna too. And they got Orianna. So that's a really good one with Aatrox and Orianna because yeah, so Aatrox far they have a lot in. of initiate, like a huge amount of initiate. Right yeah, exactly. Now. Especially like, because when you pick Orianna, usually you want to have someone that you can put the ball on, right? Someone that's gonna dive in. Yeah. And Aatrox happens to be that that guy. He's gonna dive in, not really care because he's gonna tank it up, and then potentially proc his passive. And he's gonna get in a really good position for Orianna to get a beautiful ulti. Yeah, exactly. Oh, a Shaco. It could be a Shaco. They haven't locked it in yet. I'm feeling some troll over here. Caitlyn's a good pick, though. I think Caitlyn's a really solid pick. Caitlyn's okay, I guess. I don't know. Personally, I look down on her. Really? Yeah. Because to me, what I consider a good AD carry is someone that has hyper carry potential. And who has hyper carry potential is someone that has a steroid, such as Tristana Q, Vayne W, Lucian double attack. Yeah, but like I, I think, I feel like Caitlyn's passive is kind of considered yeah, a steroid. Yeah, but the thing is, late game, she doesn't bring as much as someone else can bring, like, That's like a Vayne or Tristana. Oh. Yeah, you're right. Okay. So. All right, I don't know what to make of this. So, <laughs> I think it's any support, Kha'Zix oh. top, Orianna middle, Wait. <laughs> AD Annie. Damn. Go. It's that AD Annie. It's the new meta. Yo, I'm turning my mic down. <coughs> test, test. There we go. That's yeah, so I'm not sure what's going on with these picks, but I'm sure this team has something in store for us. I have no clue. I mean, they could take the Kha'Zix ball in. What do you think about that? Yeah, you know, they could. I'm thinking that they might go... They, they told me that... This is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking Annie and Oriana or Morgana bottom. The one that... Of those three, the one that's not bottom will be middle. And then Aatrox will go between jungle and top and cause us to go top. That's what I'm thinking. Damn. This is weird. But the other side, we have a very traditional lineup. We have Kaelin Thresh in the bottom, standard. Nocturne in the jungle. Malphite top, which we haven't seen for a while, yeah, actually, actually at all. But it's actually a pretty good pick. It's a pretty good pick, yeah. There's nothing wrong with that at all. And then Ari middle, so that's a lot more standard. I feel like Malphite is a really good pick against Aatrox. Why? Because oh, yeah, it, it slowed down his tax speed. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Hmm. I don't know, I'm not sure, honestly. I, yeah, I don't even know. Again, for the blue team, that's all I can project, but I honestly don't know what they're doing. <laughs> I'm so know. curious. Uh, and? Oh, I can't talk. We can't talk so about summoner spells. Yeah, we can't talk about summoner spells. Keep that quiet on the hush hush. They're listening right now. Looks like Annie has revive and revive teleport. Teleport. Annie. <laughs> um, okay. they're about to start. So, let me so I guess what they could do is go double AP, right, and put that That's in the exactly same lane. That's yeah. exactly what I'm saying. Yeah, and both get the CS. Yeah, I, but. Yeah, I don't know. This is really weird. Okay, they're in the game. So Oriana has exhaust. So that to me suggests that she's potentially may go the support, like support kind of path. Yeah, yeah. You know, maybe go with I don't know Annie down at the bottom, and you know Annie will be the main one, while Oriana will be the one that gets a CS every now and then with the um, the green item, the one that gives the gold to the uh, allied player beside you. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. And again, HR is going back and forth between jungle and top. That's really weird. Yeah, it's weird, but apparently it's becoming the new meta now, where you have two top. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's. It should work in theory. It should work. Like that's what I've been seeing. I think. I think that's what um, Ryerson last time did wrong. Is yeah, they yeah, didn't yeah. bring Smite top lane. That's that's one thing that I, Wait, I know that a lot of people. Yeah. No, they did. They had Annie and the Smite. Oh, really? Yeah, the Annie had the smite. Oh, the Annie had the smite? The first game when they're both oh, top, right? Shit. Yeah, the Annie had the See, smite. See, I thought the top laner was supposed to bring smite. Honestly, I'm not sure who's supposed to do I what right know. now. 
but what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So if they actually do the two top with the Aatrox and Kha'Zix, is what I'm guessing. Yeah. The Malphite, he's going to have trouble CSing. I mean, he's already yeah, kind of sure. hard to CS with, to be completely honest. He doesn't have anything that's like, yeah, a lot of AD or something you can keep spamming. Yeah, yeah. So it probably looks like Nocturne's going to have to help him out a lot. Yeah, you know for I mean? sure. Because, I mean, yeah, he's not going to CS at all. Like, under Turret, Malphite, he's going to have to use his Qs for the first three levels to CS, but he'll use three or four Qs and he's out of mana. That's true. I don't so, know. So he's not going to be a lot of getting a lot of gold income for sure. But I think Malphite still does his job even without items. Um, Fair enough. Yeah. He obviously he'd be more tankier with items, but he could still set his ulti off and press his E and slow the attack speed. So I don't think it's too bad. But at the same time, yeah, it could give blue team like a huge advantage. Yeah, the one thing I'm looking at the purple team and wondering is usually when I see a Malphite pick, I see some sort of really solid AoE follow-up. But I don't see any. Exactly. So Nauchin can jump in. Ari can go in and do her thing, but that's not, she's not exactly AoE like, as much as like an Orianna, for instance. She has a bit, but her Q and her E, I mean her E and her W aren't really AoE. They'll yeah. probably go for one target. Yeah, it just seems like that's the only like off-putting thing right now of the purple yeah. team is the Malphite pick. Everything else seems pretty solid, though. But thinking on the other side, the purple team does have an ADC, which late game will be pretty useful. Oh, okay, yeah, AD Annie. Right, right, right. Yeah, right, 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 right. right, right, right. <laughs> All right, AD Annie. All right. Holy. Who knows? We'll see. We'll see. We're loading into the game right now. So, who do you think has better level one? Um, I think blue team does in general. I don't think Malphite's that good level one. Yeah, he's not. Um, Ari's already right, level one. Nocturne not really not, that not, good level yeah, one. Yeah, Nocturne are very yeah. Yeah, I, I Aatrox. and they have the Aatrox, yeah, the, the Aatrox, Aatrox and the Kazakh and Annie and Morgana. Yeah, and Morgana and Oriana to check the bushes. And Oriana. Yeah, okay. Well, that's a pretty given. <laughs> So they, they have a pretty good one. And we'll then see. on the other side, all they really have is Caitlyn Traps, Threshook, and Ari Charm. Yeah. Which is okay, but it's nowhere near as good. This needs to load faster. It's loading. <laughs> Players. Oh, well, what do you from think what about I know, Doctor as a jungler? I think Doctor is a very bad jungler. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, he's good, he's aight. He's challenger, so he's better, he better be good. Okay, I'm like really interested in this blue team though. Yeah, so there's a pause. You think it'll go to 28 minutes? I think it'll hit 28 this time. Honestly, I don't think it will. It has potential. <laughs> Does it have potential? Mm-hmm. That'll be immense. You don't see it counting down, dude? It's at 30 right now. I don't know. I'm still sticking with the won't hit it. 25. So, um, now that the jungle's changed, I know a lot of people were playing Nocturne before, but it kind of like divvied off at the end. Do you think Nocturne is like a really good pick now? Because he's kind of a carry jungler. Like, he, he can either build tank or carry, right? Well, I remember for like, like Medios, I remember he talked about Nocturne because he's a very popular Nocturne jungler. Yeah. And he said, if he builds AD Nocturne, then he's just having fun. If he's building tank Nocturne, then he's okay. going serious. Okay, okay. So I'm assuming that he'll go tank as well. Yeah. But personally, I don't jungle at all. So I'm not, I have no idea how good a Nocturne is in the jungle. Yeah. But I do know Aatrox is just in general strong. Yeah, obviously. A like, we've Aatrox, seen we've seen, yeah. I've seen that so much. Aatrox can just annihilate everything. He's really good at jungle. Yeah. So the fact that he can just dive at so such an early level, it just makes him like stand out. Yeah, exactly. Same, like, same thing like a Zac, right? Like he yeah, can exactly. Do the Zach's same thing. really good at that too. So looking at the mini map, it looks like it's kind of what I said, but the opposite. They're actually going bottom with Kha'Zix, and I'm yeah. sure Aatrox will go between bottom. I wonder why. Maybe because they're squishier bottom and they feel like they can get more potential to kill. Because a Malphite will be a, you know, a little difficult to kill. But 
I think at the same time, there's two people bottom as opposed to one top. I don't know. I'm really confused. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, maybe Aatrox is just planning to help him out a lot. That could be something. I mean, they no, all have will. that stupid item, so... No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying he, he will be helping him. But at the same time, I'm saying if they were top with oh. Aatrox Cossacks, they have one person to kill as opposed oh, okay, to two. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Or like, you know, just to like help each other out kind of thing. Yeah, so. I don't know. I don't know. I'd be forcing mouth fight to build MR. Maybe. I don't know, I'm just confused by this, to be completely honest. So do you think they all are gonna build AP though? Like, do you think Oriana and Annie are gonna build AP? Yeah, I don't okay. see why they wouldn't. I don't see what else they could possibly build. Unless AD Annie, like someone called it, is true. Okay, okay. I, mean, I, I really want to see this. Like, I'm yeah. kind of curious about this. I'm really curious to what... Because I'm sure there's a reason behind this, right? They don't just oh, pick yeah. whatever champs they wanted, so... They obviously have some sort of game plan for this, or some sort of mindset that they're going into this game with. Yeah, and we see Aatrox going straight bottom right now, right after red. So what they did was actually they took two buffs. They took the red buff on Aatrox, which is going straight bottom, right? Obviously. Oh. And then the Annie took blue buff. So that was probably the plan then. Yeah. Okay. That works out really well for them then. Yeah, because see, Aatrox has a green item, and so does Kha'Zix. So they'll be laying together, and I'm sure Aatrox every now and then will go to the jungle. Yeah, and now they both have the XP from blue buff too. Yeah, exactly. So they're above half XP. Yeah, exactly. That's going to be yeah, really good half, for yeah, them. Yeah, they're literally half HP yeah. or uh, XP. Okay, okay. So they're just going to probably push that out, get level 2, and just completely zone Malphite. Malphite is probably going to be pretty useless. I mean, like you said, Malphite will serve his purpose regardless of the items he has. He's only there mainly for the ulti. But in that kind of team comp, I feel like he'll need to do more than just that because I don't feel like they have enough to follow up with a Malphite ulti. Yeah, you're right. Exactly. Like you were saying, they, they don't have enough AoE to follow yeah. up. So the only real use for that Malphite is to just kind of engage. And actually stay there as opposed to engage and then die. Yeah. Which is what we're saying that he might have to do if he gets zoned really hard. So this seems like kind of a smart tactic. I mean, getting that blue buff really is like... Oh my oh god. Oh my god, they do so much damage. That's that damage we're talking about. See, the thing is, I see why they do these bottom, because Aatrox and Kha'Zix both have a jump. Yeah. So they both just can dive on someone. I'm sure Aatrox follows up, he gets the knock up, and then Kha'Zix jumps in and executes them with Q. And yeah, that's pretty strong. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So they're going kill lane, but again, they have no ADC. That's a pretty core role. I mean, you need an ADC to push down turrets, right? It's a bit hard to push down without ADCs. Yeah, Even so though AP does do decent damage. We're just going to have to see then. I mean, I think the plan probably is to like get really ahead early and just push. Yeah. Like push any turret they can before yeah. Caitlyn gets any CS, before Caitlyn gets any items. Because then after that, it'll be pretty hard to push turrets against that. Especially if Caitlyn has pretty good range too. Yeah, for sure. They have to definitely push the early advantage. And they're doing that top lane, it looks like. They're really giving this mouth at a hard time top. I mean, even if they don't push their early oh. advantage as hard as they or as hard as we're saying they should, they still have really good engage. Think about it. They have oh, so many yeah. people that can just flash in and engage. Yeah, and even up. the Morgana. Like, Morgana's a really solid pick mid lane. Yeah. So, very interesting. So now Nocturne has to help out top lane, which leaves bottom lane completely vulnerable to a push too. Yeah. So yeah, Malphite, he has to back already, but he has to have teleport, so he can just help her back into the lane instantly, so he won't lose a whole lot. But like you said, Nocturne is going to have to be top. He's probably going to keep going between the double golems and top lane, back and forth, back and forth. Or else that turret's going to die in like another minute. Oh, yeah. he's actually not even going there. You're right. Yeah, he's not even going to go there, so they're just going to leave that turret vulnerable. It's already at half HP, four yeah. minutes into the game. And it's not AD any. She does have a lot of AP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't look like they're building AD. They're probably just going to rely on Aatrox and Kha'Zix to push the turrets, which could be fine. Like, if, if Kha'Zix and Aatrox get ahead early, then they'll still push turrets really fast. I mean, Aatrox not a bad turret pusher. He's not, but honestly, I feel like what they're going for is a slightly different alteration of splitting. Oh my god, he's going straight onto the Thresh. They're putting out some crazy damage. This is the damage we were talking about. They both dive on. Vartoon going straight for oh! the kill, and he's actually going to die. First blood. Doctor have to come in there to pick up the kill to try and make this somewhat worth it, but the question is, oh my god, that Shrax didn't actually activate, so that was a tad too late. He's just gonna get the two out. If he missed that oh. two out, oh god. Yeah, see, I think Ari what went wrong it. there. Oh, oh, Ari is gonna get the kill, is gonna get the kill for sure, for sure. Oh, oh no! 
Aatrox in 